also known as cigar and luminous sharks, cookie cutter sharks are rarely seen. However, the evidence of their presence can be all too visible on their prey. There are two described species of cookie cutter sharks, and they have been found throughout the tropical and temperate ocean waters of the world, though admittedly in mostly patchy areas as seen on this map. Cookie cutter sharks are most often associated with islands such as the Bahamas, Japan, and the Galapagos, among many others. These sharks live in deep water during the day. At night, cookie cutter sharks rise towards the surface and use bioluminescent areas on their undersides to attract larger animals to them. It might seem counterproductive. Normally, smaller animals want to avoid larger animals that could potentially eat them. But for cookie cutter sharks, it's a tactic that gets them a mouthful of food. Cookie cutter sharks reach about 20 inches in length on average, but they eat the flesh of many much larger animals like white sharks, tuna, marlins, orcas and other dolphins, pinnipeds, whales, and more. The light spots on the cookie cutter shark's underside draws in these larger animals as these spots appear similar to other smaller fish. There's also suggestion that the dark collar around the base of the cookie cutter shark's head plays a role in attracting the attention of potential meals. Along with their body shape, this band is why these sharks are also known as cigar sharks. When a large animal gets close enough to the cookie cutter shark, the shark will grab a hold and work out a half sphere or cone shaped crater of flesh from that animal's body. The cookie cutter shark grabs a hold with its suction cup-like lips and upper teeth, while the lower teeth, which are all connected at their base, move back and forth in a spinning motion to dig out a scoop of meat. Once it's gathered its meal, the cookie cutter shark will swim off, leaving the other animal with a perfectly round, gaping hole, similar to a cookie cutter slicing into a flat piece of raw cookie dough, hence the name. This is why cookie cutter sharks are most often considered parasitic animals. They don't typically kill their prey, but they certainly leave a mark. Cookie cutter sharks may also eat crustaceans, which they'll consume whole, as well as large squids. Now, the likelihood of running into a cookie cutter shark while swimming is pretty slim. During the day, these sharks stay deep in the ocean, more than 3,281 feet down. They only travel towards the surface at night, and even then they are usually much deeper than a casual swimmer. That's not to say it's impossible, as a long distance swimmer has been attacked in the past, but seeing as how there's barely even video of these sharks, the chances of running into one is pretty dang slim. Cookie cutter sharks are a type of dogfish shark, which you can learn more about in our shark episode. Like other dogfish sharks, cookie cutter shark females retain their offspring in their bodies and give birth to live young. Cookie cutter sharks are believed to have a long gestation period, perhaps even longer than a year, and they'll give birth from anywhere to 6 to 12 pups once they've fully developed inside the mama shark. It's currently unknown how long cookie cutter sharks live. For more facts on cookie cutter sharks, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Kafanarai and A Burf for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.